add a caption to the table. You can select the table, go up to the References tab, and here is Insert Caption. It automatically knows that it's a table, so it, in, it inserts Table 1. I'm going to put a space, hyphen, space, and I will just label this as Table Caption Example 1. And I'll put it above and say OK. And it lands quite, a f uh, quite far above the table. Now if I click this, you can see that I have 10 points of paragraph spacing. And this is just for your information. Uh, captions have a style. And just so you can see that, you can come over here and open the Styles pane, which opened on my other monitor. And there's the caption. If you hover on it, you'll see that it has 10 points of spacing after the caption. You know that we can right-click here and we can modify. And that's a paragraph spacing thing. So I could go and change that if I wanted. And if I do it in here, let's say 7, and say OK, OK, it did reduce that space. Also, I'm going to modify it just to have a different color. I'll just change it back to black and say OK. And so it's changed the color. So when you change it over here, it's going to be a global update for everything you do. Now there is another table caption to be done down here. So let's do this one. Select the table, References, Insert Caption, Table 2, Space hyphen Space. This is a table caption, Example 2. Now you saw that it it knew it was table number two because it's keeping track. We'll keep it above. If I didn't want this to show up, I could exclude the label, but I'll just keep it on there. And then it shows up with quite a bit of space. And this is always what the mystery is. And I don't, I think just maybe because there, and I can't ever seem to get rid of this last blank paragraph. Uh, but what I can do is I can move this to be a little closer. So as you go through and do your tables, it will automatically put that number in. So let's go back here and do these floating objects. So add a caption to a floating object. So, if you want the text to be able to wrap around the object with a caption and be able to move them together, then you need to use a very particular order. So, I'm selecting the image and I click the Layout Options icon and I need to do one of the text wrapping choices, which is already on here, actually. So I'll just use tight, uh, which is what's on there. So I actually hope on yours, I'm going to have to change these because I really, you need to remember this step, actually. So once you've done this, before you insert your caption, now you can just use the regular steps. So it's just, it's selected. You come to References. You insert the caption. Now it's called it a table, and we want this to be a figure. And let's not exclude the label. So now it's figure one. And we'll put in space hyphen grapefruit. And I want you to try various options. So let's put it below. 
we'll say OK. And that is done. And now you're going to, uh, you need to make sure that this is selected and that the bounding box has that solid line around it. And then you're going to press and hold your shift key and get the caption as well. So two things are now selected. And now you can right click and you can group those. And so it becomes one entity that if we were to take this now and take it over here, you can see they move together and that the text will wrap around them. So that's how you make this, what they, what they called it, a floating object. So I'll just do one more and then you can finish the rest. I will tell you that they behave a lot better if they're in a column, not if they're beside each other. So select that one. Make sure that it has the tight wrap on it. And then go ahead to the references. Insert the caption. It knows it's figure two. We'll just space hyphen space bananas. And this time, let's put it above and say OK. And I, I still think that's just a lot of space, even at 7. And probably, if I reduce this, really didn't reduce it. But you can see that I could move that down and probably order it to the back. And then I just like it better that way. So select one, press the Shift key, select the other one, right click, group them, and voila. So now when you click on them, you can move them as one entity and they will wrap. So you can go ahead and do the rest of them. And uh, maybe try one where, just always check that the wrap is on. And then try one without the, or maybe even with a custom label. You can make a custom label. Let's call this uh, fruit. And say OK. So now fruit 1, it's going to start a new category. It started labeling it, it as fruit 1. And the grapes. And we'll put it below. And then you can press the shift key, select that, right click, and group them together. OK, so uh, try changing up the label and you can finish the last one.